In Afghanistan today, officials are racing to protect wheat crops against a major new threat. A fungal disease called UG99 has devastated wheat in Africa and is moving across Central Asia. Well into his 90s, Norman Borlaug still heard the call for help. He chaired an institute devoted to fighting the disease. This is the new strain of uh, stem rust organism that has the power to destroy most of the wheat varieties being grown around the world. For Borlaug, it was a return to his roots. He began his work in the 1940s in Mexico, breeding wheat crops that were immune to another type of wheat rust that had devastated crops there. But his big breakthrough came later, breeding high-yielding wheat varieties that more than tripled the harvest. Breeders replicated that success with rice, and the Green Revolution was born, averting famines that were predicted in Asia in the 1960s and 70s, and winning Borlaug the Nobel Peace Prize. According to his colleague, Ren Wang, Borlaug's legacy is his scientific approach to crop breeding. And I think really the most important contribution he's made, in my view, has been that uh, through his uh, contributions and his example and, and the personal effort, that this new approach of, uh, of crop breeding, developing semi-dwarf, high-yielding cereals, has scaled up or escalated into a global effort. Wang directs a global network of 15 plant research centers that are an outgrowth of Borlaug's work. Wang says Borlaug was a personal inspiration as well. What really impressed me was uh, Norm's uh, such a high level of uh, energy, uh, just untiring and wavering commitment and passion to show talk to farmers in the field and uh, also influence all of us at that time to be determined to improve really lives of small farmers. Borlaug's energy and commitment lasted all through his life. On his 95th birthday, he told VOA that the work to improve crop yields Food. must continue. We're adding 84 million more people to the world population every year. Throughout his life, Borlaug was a firm believer that the job of feeding the world could not be done without chemical fertilizers and pesticides, a view that drew criticism from environmentalists. In this 1971 interview, he responded to critics of the insecticide DDT, which was later banned in the United States. Very proud to be an American, but I'm also frightened by this hysteria. Remove DDT, the next will be all insecticides, after that it will be all the weed killers, the fungicides and then the fertilizers if the hysteria prevails and when this happens sir the u.s will be importing food only there won't be any place from where to import it borlaug tempered his views somewhat in his later years and led efforts to discourage overuse of insecticides and fertilizers but his commitment to feeding the world was what drove him and that legacy lives on and on the front lines everywhere of the fight to nourish a hungry planet steve barragona voa news washington